Hi there, Mayor Hemming, I want to show you uh, angled uh, barbell squats. Um, so this is a cool exercise I'll talk about more in a minute. Uh, I've got this set up here from a little bit higher height, so I just got this kind of propped up against um, the bleachers here, and you can put this kind of wherever you need. I've also got a towel in there to help protect um, the bleachers. And so what you want to do is just load up the bar with this side here, kind of get into an ended position, okay, and flip this up over here. And you're just going to hold this against your chest, kind of set your feet up in your squat stance. You come down, and you can come up, give a good boot squeeze at the top. Done. Down like that. So this is a really cool exercise. Um, it's been made popular recently by Ben Bruno, uh, and it got me thinking about it again. I'd experimented with this years ago, and uh, the problem I had is that I had the barbell on the ground, and that kind of works if you're quite short. But for most people, what happens is if the barbell's on the ground, you end up kind of moving it so much sideways this way that you really don't get the opportunity to have a normal squat field. So it pushes you way back and then it angles you way forward. Uh, and so when I tried it years ago, I was like, I don't like this. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned, Ben Bruno's kind of popularized this exercise more recently. And uh, one of the things he did is he used a landmine, which creates a bit longer arm uh, and helps that out. If you don't have a landmine, again, if you have some type of sturdy object, you can prop the barbell up, you get a much better barbell angle and it makes it more natural. Now, why would you do this exercise? This is a cool exercise uh, for several reasons. Uh, one is it is more favorable if you don't have good squat leverages. So if you're tall, if you've got quite a short torso, long legs, this makes this a lot more um, user friendly for you. Another thing that's really cool is that it provides a little bit of a machine feel, okay? Now normally in the context of athletic training, we're not looking for that, right? We want the body to be able to balance and control and stabilize, okay? However, there are times when adding that, um, that extra help with the movement can be beneficial. And so this can be helpful. Sometimes people with the squat, they tend to really pitch forward. And so with, the, um, with this angled barbell squat like this, the barbell is preventing me. I can't pitch forward. And so I'm forced to use the correct muscles to squat up instead of kind of pitching forward. Another cool thing with this is when you are trying to have some more fatigue. And so if you're doing a higher volume program where you're doing lots of sets or you're doing higher repetitions, uh, what tends to happen is as fatigue sets in, which may be necessary for say like a hypertrophy goal or things like that, that fatigue causes the movement to break down and your squats start to get uh, in a position that becomes ineffective at training the legs and more stress on things like the back. And so this has uh, some use, it's not necessarily a replacement for a, a regular barbell squat, uh, but it has some cool uses and it may be a good fit at times for you. Enjoy.